Hey church, my name is Mia Jackson and I'm part of the Manchester Central campus. Uh, we're continuing the Own It series this week with the new topic of Own Your Thinking. Yesterday we looked at Isaiah 54, 2 to 3 and the knowledge that God's ways and thoughts are higher than ours, that we don't have to think small and that we can trust God. Today we're stepping into the truth that as we trust God, know that he loves us and that his ways are higher than ours, we can dream again. So Genesis 37, to 5 to 8 and 19 say, Joseph had a dream and when he told it to his brothers, they hated him all the more. He said to them, listen to this dream I had. We were binding sheaves of grain out in the field when suddenly my sheaf rose and stood upright while your sheaves gathered around mine and bowed down to it. His brothers said to him, do you intend to reign over us? Will you actually rule us? And they hated him all the more because of his dream and what he had said, here comes that dreamer. They said to each other, come now, let's kill him and throw him into one of those cisterns and say that a ferocious animal devoured him. Then we'll see what comes of his dreams. Joseph had a dream in his day that was viewed by his brothers as a dream of impossibility. To summarize, the journey of a dream cost Joseph his freedom. His faith in the God dream took him to the pit and to the prison. Joseph, however, was later placed in charge of Pharaoh's palace and skillfully led Egypt through seven years of abundance and seven years of famine, in which the God dream became a reality. His brothers were insecure because the God dreams of Joseph intimidated their small thinking. Ephesians 3.20 says now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine or dream according to his power that is at work within us somewhere along the way we grow up we stop dreaming we stop imagining and start living realistically instead of fanning into fl into flame the gift of god we douse the raging fire of our dreams with a water bucket filled half empty with realism and disbelief convincing ourselves it's better not to play with fire because we'll only get burnt. Audacious church, this is your call. It's time to dream again.